Hello guys, I am Jean, your financial educator. Welcome to my channel. Hello guys, thanks for visiting again my channel. And para po sa bago sa channel ko, if first time ka lang, I am Jean. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be discussing the continuation of bonus rency. Yung naiwan natin dati, I have updates. So, our topic for the for today or yung ko aning i-discuss ko is all about again bonus rency. Who is entitled for bonus rency o yung ating bagong 100 euro bonus? What are the requirements? And of course, the amount. Okay, let's begin. So, changes from July 1st. So, again, I will reiterate. The main changes is from 80 euro per month to 100 euro per month. So, who is entitled? So, starting from July 1, 2020, a new personal income tax bonus of 100 euro is introduced which will be paid to employees or taxpayers having a maximum annual income of up to 28,000 euro. So for income holders above this threshold, if above sa 28,000 euro ang iyong annual income or ang iyong ready to annuale, a new tax deduction will be recognized o yung detraction eh. Merong ibang uh, tax deduction. Kasi ang ibig sabihin itong bonus rency o itong 100 euro bonus. It is a tax deduction. So, nababaw, binabawasan yung tax na ibinabaw sa atin. Sa halip na ibabaw siya ang, ang uh, proseso, pinibigay sa atin ito. Nare-receive mo siya sa iyong uh, monthly income. Okay? Hindi mo masyado napapansin na ibinaw siya. Ang, ang thinking kasi natin, binigyan tayo ng uh, exam pero well, actually, ang uh, pinaka-thought nito o ito nga, paano ka lang batas na ito, ang pinaka purpose ito is to reduce the tax burden. Bawasan yung tax na ipapataw uh, sa bawat employee dun sa mga taxpayers, okay? So, if your income, annual income uh, is above 28,000 euros, so meron siyang uh, new tax deduction, may bago siyang, uh, meron siyang corresponding computation. For example, from... 28,100 to 35,000 euros na annual income, it will start at around 97 euros up to a gradual reduction to a limit of 80 euros. So, hindi mo marireceive yung exact amount na 100 euro if your annual income is between 28k to 35k. Okay? So, huwag ka na magtaka if sasabihin mo yung iba, sasabihin, Oh, bakit yung nareceive ko less than 100 euro or yung previously yung sa 80 euro bonus, sinasabi ng iba na, bakit ang nareceive ko hindi 80 euro, hindi, hindi, hindi exact ng 80 euro? Or yung iba, sabihin nila, bakit wala akong nareceive na bonus, di ba? So, explain natin bakit hindi ka nakareceive and explain ko rin bakit hindi exacto yung na-receive mo. So, ito po yung prison. Kung dati dun sa 80 euro, may corresponding computation din yun. So, dito na tayo sa 100 euro. So, ito po yung reason niya. Kung ang iyong income or annual income mo already to annually mo is hanggang 28,000 euro. So, entitled ka dun sa buong 100 euro. On the other hand naman, if between 28k to 35k ang inyong annual income, ang marireceive mo is between 97 to 80 euro. So, kung 35K annual income mo, 80 euro ka. So, 80 euro ang iyong ma-receive. So, from 35,001 annual income up to 40,000 na annual income, the basic amount of 80 euro will be will gradually decrease until zero. So, if 40K yung iyong annual income, zero ka na. So, ito po. On the other hand, workers with an overall income of less than, take note, less than 8,174 euro or the so-called incapable of tax or yung mga non-taxpayer. Non-taxpayers o kung yung tinatawag sa atin ay sa Pilipinas, tinatawag sa atin na 
minimum wage earners. So, di ba, yung minimum wage earners sa atin sa Pilipinas, hindi sila nagbabayad ng tax. So, same here in Italy, if you're, if you're working here in Italy and you're having a minimum income, so you are not entitled magbayad ng tax. Hindi ka binabawasan ng tax, hindi ka sinisingilan ng tax. But at the same time, if hindi ka nagbabayad ng tax, you are not entitled for this bonus. Kasi nga, itong bonus na ito ay ibinibigay lamang, it is a subsidy for those who pay the tax. Kaya siya tinawag na IRPEF credit. IRPEF, meaning tax. Yung, pag, yung mga nagbabayad ng tax. Doon lang siya ibinibigay. Kasi nga, ito ay para bawasan ang tax burden nila. Okay? Sana po naintindihan nyo. So, yung incapable of tax, yung non-tax payers are excluded. Excluded from the bonus. They are not entitled to this subsidy. So, sana po naliwanagan kayo kung bakit yung iba hindi nakaka-receive ng bonus na ito. Bakit ako wala? Eh kasi nga, hindi ka nagbabayad ng tax. Wala ka ng tax na binabayaran. Ito, binibigay lang doon sa nagbabayad ng tax para mabawasan yung burden nila sa pagbabayad ng tax. Sana po naintindihan nyo na yung reason. Okay, yung 100 euro bonus from July this year onwards. Ito yung income threshold niya. Yung annual income limit or yung uh, uh, reddito annual. Eh. O yung tinatawag nilang uh, reddito complesivo. Okay, start po siya sa 8,174. Kasi nga, if less than 8,174, hindi ka nagbabayad ng tax. So, hindi ka kasali dito. You're not entitled. I'm sorry. So, from 8,174 euros to 28,000 euros, you are entitled for 100 euro bonus or 100 euro deduction doon sa iyong tax. So, if, you are, if your annual income or your uh, ready to annual is between 28,001 to 35,000, you're entitled to 97 euro to 80 euro. So, pag laki ng income mo, pagbaba ng uh, bonus na makukuha mo. From 35,001 to 40K, it's between 80 euro to zero. So, kaya nga po, pagtaas ng iyong income, pagbaba lang po noong uh, bonus na marireceive mo, ng iyong subsidy. Okay. So, ito po, gumawa ako ng graph. Line graph. Okay. Yung 0 to 8,172, you're not paying the tax, you're not entitled, so wala kang bonus. Zero ka. If your annual income is between 8,174 to 28,800, you're entitled para sa 100 euro bonus. On the other hand, otherwise, if yung income mo is between 28,800 to 35k, it decreases gradually. Gradually po. Same here from 35,001 to 40k, the gradual increase, uh, decrease po siya. 180 decreases gradually, from 80 to 0 decreases gradually. Okay. Amount, amount po, amount. Below is the value of the rency bonus or bonus rency to which workers are entitled for the period uh, from January uh, from January 1 to June 30, 2020. Ito po siya. Gumawa ako ng table. Summary. Table. Summary po para doon sa bonus rent na 80 euro. Okay. Ito po yung income amount already to complesivo. If your income is between 0 to 8,174 euro, so 0 po siya. You're not entitled for it since you're not paying tax. Okay. So, if your income is 8,174 to 24,600, you're entitled para sa 960 euro. Annual po ito, annual. So, if for 6 months, so divide mo lang to 960. Sa dalawa, sa, divide mo sa 2. 960 divided by divided, divided 2. Or eight or 80 times 6. Okay? Then, makikita po nyo dun sa inyong chedilu, ched, chedolino, no tal. Chedolino, yung credito articulo 1. DL, DL decreto, decreto legge. 
2014. Ito po yung I have mentioned on my first video presentation, if if you'll remember. Okay? So, kung income mo naman is 24,800, 864 ka annual. 25K, 768. Kung 25.5K, 528. Kung 26.6K, 0 na. You're not entitled na. Kasi ano yung pinaka maximum niya? Na threshold niya. So, 0 na siya. Okay, from July 1, 2020, the 100 euro bonus is introduced and is structured according to what is indicated in the in the following table. So, I, I have summarized a table. Ito po yung table para ma, malaman nyo kung paano siya kinocompute. So, yung income amount or yung ready to compressivo, ito po yung annual income nyo po. If, you're, if your annual income is 8,174 to 28K, so, you, you are entitled uh, for 600 euro. 600 euro, ito yung uh, good for 6 months. Okay, 6 months po yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, monthly, 100. Kasi ka from July to December this year, ito po yung computation table. Ito po yung computation. So, if your annual income is 28,001 to 35K, so ito po yung formula. So, 480 plus 120 times... 35,000 less income, less income amount, divided by 7,000. If your income is 35,001 to 40K, ang computation po niya, o yung detraction na sinasabi ko kanina, yung corresponding computation para sa deduction, ito po yung tinutukoy ko, ay 480 times 40,000 less RC, yung ready to compressible, divided by 5,000. If your income is over 40,000, if 40,000 one so zero na, wala ka na po ma-receive, you're not entitled anymore for the 100 euro bonus. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang income mo is 8,174 to 28K, entitled ka sa buong 100 euro, 100 euro bonus. Pero kung ang income mo is between 28,000 to 35K, hindi mo makukuha yung 100 euro bonus. Yung buo, hindi mo makukuha yung buo. So, may computation siya. Ito po yun. Okay. Example. Ito po yung ginama kong example. If your annual income is 30,000, okay, you are entitled to an additional deduction of, sinasabi po nilang uh, additional deduction, hindi po ito ibabawa sa sweldo nyo. Ang ibig sabihin ng deduction na sinasabi dito, deduction doon sa tax na binabayaran nyo. Okay. Baka pumalito kayo, bakit bakit sinabi bakit sinabi dito na additional deduction, meaning additional tax deduction, ibabawas doon sa tax nyo. Ito yung actually na ibinabawas sa inyong tax. Okay, baka kayo ay malito, baka kala nyo, wala, mababawasan pa pala ako. No, ito yung ibinabawas sa tax, then ikinikredit naman sa inyo, idinadagdag naman sa nagiging income nyo. Okay, kung eight Kung 30K ang iyong annual income, so ang formula is 480 plus 120 multiplied by 35K less 30K divided by 7K. So, baka magrambol-rambol ang inyong pagkukompute. Ito po yung uh, series. Okay, kung ano yung unahin natin. So, 35K less 30K di divided by 7K multiplied by 120 plus 480. Okay? So, you'll get 565.71 euros for 6 months. Equivalent niya is for 6 months. So, monthly po is 94.28. Okay? On the other hand, if your annual income is 37k, you will receive an additional deduction of 480 multiplied by 40k less 37k divided by 5k. So, you'll get 288 euro or for 48 euros per month. Ito po yung marireceive nyo. Ito po yung ibabawa sa tax nyo na idadagdag naman sa inyong income. Okay? Clear? I hope clear. Okay. Ito po yung summary pa. Nagbigay pa po ako ng marami example. Echo. Ayan po, ito po yung table, so makikita nyo po dito kung magkano yung pwede nyo ma-receive. 
if, if ito po yung inyong annual income, or dito annuale, ayan po. Ito po yung corresponding amount ng bonus na makukuha nyo. Kaya nga po sinasabi, ito yung uh, income threshold. Ito yung ceiling, income ceiling na sinatawag. Kung baga sa atin sa Pilipinas, income ceiling. If ito po yung inyong annual income ceiling, okay, entitled ka sa 100 euro subsidy. And then, paglaki po o pagtaas ng inyong income, kung mag pag nag-increase po siya, nababawasan din po yung nare-receive nyo. Okay? Nababawas yung ibinabawas sa tax na idadagdag naman sa income nyo. Ayan po. So, beneficiaries. Ayan, sino pong mga beneficiaries? Sino entitled makareceive nito? Sino po yung entitled na mabawasan ng tax? Sino po anong mga trabaho po ba? Okay, the new measure for the deduction of tax wedge that replaces bonus rency is aimed like the previous one, yung bonus rency. Ang aim po niya for employees and similar in a, is particular for a certain uh, employees. Ito po siya. Yung employees, meaning labor, laboratory dependente, okay? members of cooperatives, such such cooperative, employees who receive remuneration for assignments from third parties o laboratory dependent ke percepisko no compensi per inkariki da sujeti tarzi, coordinated and ongoing collaborators, collaboratory coordinati, e continuativi. So, nilagay ko po yung Italian phrases po niya para just in case ayun po yung title doon sa laboro niya, madali niyo po siya maintindihan. Holders of internships, scholarships, or other professional training activities. Okay, titulari di stage, if you're working as a stage, if you're having a, if you're working at the same time having bourse di studio, yung scholarship, all, or, o altre attività di adestramento professional. Yung mga priests, yung sacerdote, yung mga social workers, laboratory so socialmente ut ut utili. And, okay, recipients of mobility allowances, redundancy benefits, layoffs and disoccupation, precatory di idinita di mobilita, prestazioni di esodo, yung mga nakakasa integration eh, and NASP, NASP disoccupation. Eh. So nilagay ko po to kasi mas aware po siguro kayo dito. Okay, and of course, para po sa mga domestic helper calls and caregivers badanti. Syempre, kayo po kasali din po kayo lalo na kung nagbabayad kayo ng tax. 'Di ba po? Ay no, yung iba nakaka-receive na alam niyo na po ito. Okay, domestic helper and caregivers are also entitled to receive the bonus. However, the amount is not paid by the by the employer or yung hindi mo siya nare-receive monthly kahit na may chitulino ka, hindi mo siya marereceive monthly unless operayo ka. Uh, ang trabaho mo ay paglilinis pero under ka ng kooperatiba o opera uh, ang tawag doon opera yun yung, may, yung meron kang chedulino na to kooperatiba so nare-receive mo siya pero kapag ka yung trabaho mo yung mga domestic helper yung mga call kagaya ng iba na badanti na iba yung uh, iba yung chedulino niyo hindi mo siya makukuha kasi monthly siguro naman po alam niyo na yon okay but it is paid at the time of the air refund and after the presentation of shete trenta okay So, marireceive mo lang po pag um, nag-file kayo nyo ng refund at saka nag-file kayo ng inyong, uh, ang tawag dito, ng inyong 730. Okay? Yung 730, yung inyong annual income declaration. So, kaya po napaka-importante. It is very important na mag-file ng 730, ng inyong annual income. Um, ang tawag doon, nalitutuloy ako. <laughs> Napaka-importante po na makapag-file kayo ng inyong 730. Kasi, minsan, yung iba, hindi sila nag-file kasi iniisip nila, baka magbayad pa sila. 
Kasi nga po may computation po yun. Kung kulang yung inyong ibinayad, of course, magbabayad ka kung kulang. And then, kung labis naman yung nabayad mo, may marerefund ka. Kailangan po magbayad kayo kasi if after few years na na-check po nila yan, pag mumulta po kayo. So, I advise mo, file po talaga kayo ng 730. Okay, ito, pensioners. Pensioners are excluded. Okay, they are excluded from the 100 euro bonus. It does not concern retirees, but only employees who are currently employed. So, hindi po entitled yung mga pensioners para dito. Okay, on the other hand, holders of a social APE, yung advanced pension, kung naka-advanced advanced pension po kayo or pensione di pensione anticipate, entitled po kayo. They are entitled to receive since the salary is assimilated to work income and not to retirement income. So, entitled po kayo. Yay, entitled sila. Okay. Thank you for watching guys. Sana po naintindihan nyo. If ever may questions po kayo or clarifications, please don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video presentation. Mag-leave po kayo ng comment and I'll try to reply po as much as possible kung kakayanin ko po makareply agad immediately sa inyo po. So para po sa hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and that's all. Bye-bye. Thanks.